Hello, welcome back. Last time I got the first nine levels of this game done, and uh, yeah, I think the way things went pretty well. How many levels are there, by the way? 45. Okay. Well, 46. Okay. There's a secret one unlocked after 40 of the others. All right. Uh, level 10. Level 10. Okay, so switchable block thingy here. I have to do what now? Well, make a stairway. Okay, so only first action I can really do is that. Why that pressure plate? It's probably a prevention mechanism. All right, well, my options... Uh, what's the undo button in this game? Down. Right. <laughs> it's very unusual. Uh, this is obviously wrong, but I'll do it and see where it gets me. Won't get me very far, will it? Like, that's not in the right spot, and I can't fix it to be. And if I were here... That also wouldn't especially help, because I can't make that jump. Okay, so that's the conundrum. Am I perhaps led into a false dead-end path? Well, a true dead-end path. A false path. And I don't want to make, like, a little stairway continuation right here. And there's actually something else I want to do. Not sure what else that could be. I'm just one too low here. Okay, if ye if a uh, yellow block were here, I could be done. I doubt that's gonna happen though. Am I sure it's not going to happen? As reasonably sure as I can be. Okay, so. Because of this ceiling, there's really no tricky stacking I can do with those to get, like, anything stacked over here. So what other option even vaguely exists? Is this where I'm going to use this property of things? No. Not likely. So what could be a precursor move to having a three... a two-tall stairway here? It could be the other way around, like one block here, one block here, one block here. Uh, is there no way I can have a freestanding yellow block... left of there? That's not against that wall. Okay, well I see something I can attempt to do. Let's see where it leads. Don't have a great feeling about it, but maybe something could ha uh, happen. I could space these apart, of course, and you know what? Let's do that, just because it... Oh, could I? Uh, not so easily, actually. There might be some ways. Yeah, okay, I strongly suspect that spacing is somehow going to be the answer here. But right, the thing I wanted to try was this. Ah, and with spacing. Yes, with spacing, that's all. Okay, I think I solved it. So here's what I did. Do the usual trick to get one block... Okay, I want this here, I think. One block here, other one separate. Uh, ditch the yellow thing somewhere, somehow. Where's that going to be? Well, actually, I got a few problems. I guess here will do? Sure. 
yeah, I got a few problems. This is not right. First, I want this. Okay, so when I'm when I'm like halfway between two tiles like that, what if I try to wand here? Okay, I do wand there. But like when I did it from here, it it centered me on the block. Huh. Is it only if I'm, like, right up against a uh, wall like that? Like, what if I'm here? Well, it still centers me. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, idea is... This goes over here. Yellow thing lets me climb again. I want that gray thing. Yeah, okay, gray thing goes here, yellow thing goes in between. I push the three together. Placing this gray thing perfectly underneath there, where I can yellow here, yellow here, and climb. Okay, cool. No problem. Kind of funny how the layering on those those blocks is. Like the the right side of this one doesn't draw, and the right side of this one doesn't draw because the, like the actually why would that be? That wouldn't naturally happen from how the sprites are. No, no, there is a black left side. I can see the yellow thing intruding into the wall. Okay, yeah, so that's just the, the order the sprites are placed. Can I, like, flip it? This has no relevance to the puzzle. I just want to see if I can. Uh, it's not easy to try. Okay, so anyway, pedestals up there. I need... One single gray block to make it across the bridge. Okay. What's the problem with that? I probably don't understand what I need yet. Ah, the problem. Okay. Now, could I... Uh, while I'm pushing, can I cancel my push and do something else? No. Okay, yeah, so the positioning of the switch is the problem for that. The vertical shaft that's right up here, above me, is suspicious? I wonder what that's about. Maybe nothing. Oh, no, I think I know what it is. It's so that I can't make... Oh, can I not make that jump? If there's a ceiling, I just can't go at all? <laughs> yeah, like, I get one pixel into the block, but I need to be more than that to actually get across. I could probably... okay. I'll bet I could do this. If I'm, like, at the perfect spot. I'm not so sure. Anyway, maybe it's just to make it clear that I'm, I'm not platforming across the top. I'm going across the bottom. So here's my... Thought. Let's see how well it works. Let's make a little extruder. Hmm. My thing fell. Extruder no good. That is only one short. Okay, can I extrude better somehow? Well, okay. Mm, if one goes down now... If I do this... I can't go right. If I do it from here, I just fall off the plate. If I do it real quick... I don't want this to be the solution. And it can't be. Okay. Because I get crushed if I'm under a block, there's no way I can push and have a block... Well, so the switch has to be continually held. If the switch has to be continually held, then actually... Isn't something going down that central shaft? The one I was so suspicious of? Do you think so? I don't know. So that's conveniently lined up. Is it? Yeah, so here's the option of getting to this. Cool. 
but it doesn't really help me. How could I do this jump? I don't think so. I think ceilings are one pixel wider than floors. Yeah, looks like ceilings are one pixel wider than floors, basically, to just prevent, to prevent that sort of thing. I can't make my stack one higher. That's as high as it goes. Hmm. How to handle this little pit? Just getting myself across isn't enough. I need to get a block across. Okay, but first... First, let's see what it would take just to get myself across. I think... Could I do it with one of these? I think so. And it could... Mm, no, I do need two because there's nothing for the yellow to go on. If the yellow could already have been there... Maybe? It couldn't have, though. Now I have the option of mixing and matching. I could do that and then do some of this and then some of that if I wanted to for some reason. I don't know why I would. I don't think that's relevant. Right, okay, so hang on. I'm trying to answer the question of how do I get myself over there. I don't think I have an answer. How many of these would that take? What if I extrude two? So as soon as I unsummon this yellow... Yeah, I can't do that. As soon as I unsummon that yellow, that goes away. It's like I already need all three just to get there. Hmm. Okay, well I got my... Uh, I got myself over. But a gray needs to be with me. If it were here where yellow is... I'd summon yellow there, and I'd be done. So, let's study that whole chain of events again. So first of all, if I just push this with no assistance, I go in the pit. Well, if I stop pushing it there, I don't. If I push this with no assistance, I go in the pit and I lose. What if from this point I extrude a little bit? That's of some interest. Okay. This feels like a useful state. So some extrusion on the second one. Problem is this third one can't... There's, there's no way it can make it far enough. It's one short. And if that... If both of those greys hadn't been in the pit, I wouldn't be getting out of that pit. Okay, so do I... Okay, so here's another... Here's a useful state. If I could have all three blocks in a line here... Then that'd be cool, but I don't think that's happening. Or is it? Okay, well now I see... An option of sorts. Extrude. Okay, that's two in a line. And there we go. And there we go. That's three in a line. Okay, I think this... Yeah, eliminate that. This feels like a good state.
Actually, I think it definitely is. I push one more. One has... I can't push it there. Okay. Could I have inserted the gold? Like, one index left of where it is. Because then a gray would be in a great place. And I could just climb out and push it. Okay, so insert the gold. One index left of there. I believe that's possible. Just leave a gray up top. Okay, so... Yeah, and I had extra room for that sort of thing. So leave you up top. Put the yellow there, because I can jump with that. Yeah, okay. I think this is it. Go here, do that. Keep pushing. And everything's where it needs to be. Almost. I think... I think I have a problem. Almost, but no way to insert the yellow. Am I sure I need that? Let's go back to what I was doing before. Oh, isn't it just as good to have it on this end? No. No, it's not. No. No, it needs to be the second from the right. Like, it needs to be here where I am now. That'd be nice, but how do you think it's gonna happen? Could I somehow have had these two stacked? I don't think so. Okay, let's look carefully at this situation again. So I dropped two. I yellowed here. I went down, I yellowed here. I pushed. Do that again. I have to do it one more time. I can do this, but it's not right. Also, I, I, I need to get my yellow here. Like, I can't... Uh, is there some way I could make something happen with this? No. Not unless one was already on the bridge. Could one already have been on the bridge? No. Hold on, so... Oh, wait. Check it. Check it. There we go. Okay. That did it. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, that's over there. I have the ability to make my yellow here. Push that and do everything I wanted. Okay. Okay. Neat. This game is so cool. You gotta just take your time in the puzzles. Do what's necessary. Have the <laughs> requisite realizations. I am going to get so stuck on this at some point. It's, I'm just lucky it hasn't happened yet. Okay, so a little upside down T-shape. Two greys. One grey would like to cross the T-shape, or at least I would like it to. So, like, that's kind of, sort of, almost what I want? In fact, isn't that exactly what I want? Okay, so that's just using the property that I discovered long ago of, uh, blocks defer their solidity until there's nothing occupying their space. Okay, that one was easy because I discovered the property. Okay. Similar shape, different setup. So I'm on the plate right here. My immediate thought is I probably want my yellow block on this plate while I'm operating on some things down there. No, that's not right. Well, then I can stack up three. 
I think. And I think that's just what I want to do, basically. Oh boy, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I'm diligent about this, should be able to do it, right? Here's one. Then I just repeat that. And if all three are stacked up, then yeah, that just kind of works out, right? I think. So that's my buffer to get you away from the wall and have a, a lever to push. Then I... Oh, so a trick. I can't put a yellow on, uh, on this right now. So there's an additional step... somehow. What the...? What is that going to mean? This won't do. Like that, there's, there's not, nothing helping me about that. Okay, I'm getting some weird ideas. Well, alright, I think it's gonna have to be a gray one that goes on this? Meaning that I'm short one, but maybe I can make up the difference with yellow. If that hadn't gone all the way to the edge yet, if it was one away, how was this? Like that? Uh, how do I want to insert my yellow buffer, though? Also, that's never toggling off right now. Hmm, there are multiple problems. I mean... This might still be doable. So just get rid of that, go here. Short little hop. Is there a way to do, like, a quick swap? Yo, there totally is. There's a way to do a quick swap that's like, uh... Nah, <laughs> not quick enough. <laughs> and I don't think it ever can be. No, that can never be quick enough, can it? Okay, so what if... What if the first thing were to go on the... Like, that's that just always stays down until I ditch the, uh, the stone that's on it. If that were the case, let's see what would happen. Maybe something good somehow. So having done that, I'll put you here, do a little quick swap. Uh, so I can cancel that with the... Uh, that swap was too quick. Let's do a slightly slower quick swap. Oh boy. Uh, swap was too slow. From here. Oh no, there's no timing that does this. Like, it either falls all the way down or it falls only one. There is no such thing as falling two. This is probably not involved in the solution. I did this once. How did I do it? Like that. I won't be protected, because the thing's not solid yet. If I place my gold, then everything falls. It's an interesting idea. What about just one down there? Uh. Uh, 
Oh, huh, jump. Can't jump while pushing. So just one down there. Can I do a swap quick enough for just one? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like if I could do that, then the puzzle would be done. I don't think I can do that though. It doesn't feel like something that's supposed to happen. It happened though. <laughs> Uh, how official do you suppose the solution is? It didn't use one of my puzzle elements. Let's make sure it is actually a solution. It definitely is. Do I just take this or do I look for a new one? Well, first I'll take it. That's a way to clear that. Let's see if there's a less timing dependent one. Maybe there's not, but no, I'm fairly convinced there probably is. Because this is not, like, it's very clear, based on how this game has gone, this is not something that would leave a puzzle element unused. And yeah, that middle stone block just did not have a role. And clearly it's supposed to. Okay, so let's try and conceptualize something else. My overall plan remains the same. Uh, so the, the the most ideal way to do this was... I mean, would be the one that I tried to do first, right? Like, stack all three here. Then have a way to somehow get the gold block on the... The pressure plate on the left. But that pressure plate on the left has the exact same problem that the goal plinth does. In that it's offset from the wall on both sides with no backstops in sight. Ooh, I got a weird idea. I think I see what the third block is for, and my solution was the correct one, but I did it uh, an unnecessarily fancy way. What I'm saying is, one of these goes here. Yellow goes here. And the quick swap that I do is just this. That's it. Okay, okay. So, same outcome actually using all my tools, not fiddly timing. All right, cool, I'll take that. I'm gonna say that's probably the official solution. <laughs> all right, cool, I got four puzzles done today, great. That's still real good progress, I'm happy with that. All right, so next time 14, I'll see you then.